the Buddha came to awakening outside. He gave his first sermon outside, and he passed away outside. This is John Swag used to say, the forest is our educational institution here. We learn a lot from the forest. Sometimes it enforces its lessons pretty strongly. One of our monks had an encounter with a snake just the other day. And he was fortunate the snake didn't come down too hard on him. But it's good to get out like this, get away from civilization, and be with ourselves, and face the dangers of living in this world without a lot of the protections that civilization provides. We really got to see ourselves. Fears that wouldn't come up otherwise sometimes come up, but also opportunities to get to know ourselves in positive ways, to see that we do have the potential for virtue, we do have the potential for concentration, the potential for mindfulness, discernment. These potentials are here within us. They're the potentials of the physical elements in the body. You can breathe in a way that gives rise to real pleasure. Think of the breath filling the whole body, all the cells breathing in, breathing out. And you realize that's a potential there you hadn't tapped before. When I was in France recently, one of my hosts had his neighbors come in. These were people out in the countryside. And so we did breath meditation together, and I gave a guided meditation, taking them through the breath energies in the different parts of the body. And at the end, this one woman was, was really amazed, she said. She didn't realize she had these potentials inside her. So we come out to see what our potentials are. Sometimes we find that we're not as strong as we thought we were, but we also find that we have strengths that we didn't suspect. This, the Buddha says, is an important part of the practice, having a sense of yourself, which means having a sense of your strengths and of your weaknesses, and how to use your strengths in order to overcome the weaknesses. So take the opportunity to have some time by yourself out under the trees and see what you learn what comes up that wouldn't come up otherwise. You live out in the society. There's so many other things going on that you get distracted. Things are coming up inside your mind and you don't see them because your attention is someplace else. But now you can give things inside your full attention. And maybe we and one with the Buddha can learn a lot about ourselves, a lot about the potentials inside that we didn't suspect before. <laughs>